Yo, welcome back guys. This is Nusrat Fatty Ali Khan and the song Allahu Allahu. Uh, somebody was requesting this in the comments. It got a few, uh, few upvotes and I uh, found a version in, in Birmingham in the UK from 1986. This is live at BBC Pebble Mill, wherever that is, but it, apparently it's in Birmingham. Uh, and we've got a six minute tune. Some great singing in this. I think we've also got Rahat, very, very young, down in the corner, and I think he does a little bit later on. Before we get going, guys, I'm a vocal coach. I teach singing lessons online, have another channel, and an ebook called Becoming a Natural Singer, available to buy now. Check out the links in the description. Let's dive in. I don't have much time today. You might notice the washing machine in the background. I'm just going to have to go straight through it. So uh, uh, forgive me if you can uh, hear some whirring in the background, but we will. We will go and we'll do our best. The great thing about this style is the sense of community. Just a group of guys sat there having fun. It's very, very good. Does Allah who mean anything? Ooh. I guess Allah is God, so what does who mean? Love? I like this guy on the right, you'll see him as we go through. It's like not messing around, really full out. Supreme King of Kuali. Of Kuali. <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Wow. Love the aggression. Nusrat, one thing I notice is the further you go back in time, the earlier you get in terms of his, uh, his singing. His voice cleaned up a lot as he was younger. Um, in his younger years, it, it was a little cleaner. He was able to get higher with a little bit more finesse. And um, he, uh, for whatever reason, I'm not actually sure why, but uh, he seems to be a little bit more adventurous and, and a little bit more successful when he uh, when he flies up there um, uh, with the older videos that I've noticed. And yes, these guys are from Pakistan, not from India. Uh, one of my mistakes recently <laughs> that uh, a few people called me out on. up there stays very clean still to get it from 10 years later it's a little bit more grit in the sound the tough vowel the who singing that full out very very difficult vowel to stay balanced on And this is Rahat on the left, I believe. Am I right? Wow. And these guys sing 
absolutely full out on top. They don't lighten up to a heady sound at all. It's just aggressive, bang, bang, bang. Very masculine, strong. Young voice is so clean and crisp and free. Amazing. This is a young Rahat who took over Nusrat's mantle after his death in 97. I wonder if his health was affecting his voice as he got older. Yeah. He like totally loves what he's doing. You just get that sense. This guy really impresses me as well. Put the camera on him. Here we go. Check this out. sense of communion a sense of when you have this call and response oh that ended quickly i didn't expect it to end right there when you have this call and response in a group it's almost as if nusrat's leading and he's he's dragging people's energy towards him it's just creating this sense of of oneness within a group and it's this funny thing because we're all individuals but we're also all have commonalities we're all human we're all part of something we're all part of different cultures, different traditions. This culture and tradition, they're all part of, they all understand. And music, in a sense, it helps people to, to find sameness in each other rather than difference. So in a lot of ways, it brings people together. And that's, in a lot of ways, the power of music. It, it gets beneath politics. It gets beneath ideology to something a bit purer, to something that came before all of that something more basic in us that everyone can relate to hit me up in the comments guys let me know your thoughts and if you have any other reaction ideas let me know outside of that if you've liked this video hit the thumbs up if you've loved it hit the subscribe have a great day wherever you are whatever you're up to i'll see you very soon take care bye